What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Guts from Berserk in his Berserker armor. So that's sort of cool, sort of wolf-like, or dog sort of like helmet and stuff with the red eyes. So sad that we're, we might not get to see, see the end of that manga. Oh, RIP. So I thought I'd do this, so let's go. I'm in landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So he's kind of hunched over. He's got his holding his sword sort of on his shoulder. So his, uh, his head isn't banging in the middle. It's kind of moved over just to here to the left, right? We're going to start with sort of the helmet and we're sort of do our best to get those shapes in. We're in three quarter pose. The head is kind of turned away. We can see the side of his head and like a quarter of the other side of his head, right? So center point of my page is about here. So just come over. So middle line, you know, just come over and we're going to start with sort of a sort of a V-like shape right in the middle of the helmet. So it like comes down and then comes back across, right? So it's kind of like a bird sort of flying. You know, those simple ways we draw birds when you're when you were a kid sort of flying in the air. And then, so then, so this like bumps kind of down, right? So we've got like these sort of bumping lines that come down. Sometimes they join together, sometimes they don't. But in general, they kind of come down like this. Right? This is coming down like the middle of his helmet, right? So then we have these wings that come out the side, right? So kind of real pointy down here. And then we got these this like side of his face comes up this way, right? And we got spikes on either side, so this comes around here. Right, like that. And then this comes up here. And then we spike it up again. And in, right? So this is the three quarter pose, this is the small side of his head. Okay, and the, bit, the larger side So we'll go up this way and We have these spikes again, so now we're going in different directions. So this one's more vertical This one goes out a little bit more right and this one kind of comes around like so right, And then goes up around so we're about the same level here, right? So then the helmet curves around the back here. So we'll have like a bump line there for like an eyebrow and say like the eyebrow area on this side is like here. And then this will go up around into there. So then this helmet sort of curves around, goes behind his ear, which is in here, right? So we'll, we'll draw the ear in. So it goes up real spiky and pointy and comes down and then sort of joins the back of his eye, I think. Like somewhere down here. So this goes up that way. So we've got like all fins and you know armor and stuff. So we're gonna take our time with this, right? So so we've got like another so like another layer, right? So it comes out around the back of his head, and then that goes in behind his ear, sort of here, I think. So it goes in behind his ear here, okay? The helmet, right? But it goes. And it goes up around, right? So we'll just draw it in. Should have some bumps on it, but we can add them after, right? So we'll just go around here. Kind of like that. And then you have a fin-like back of his armor here. Comes around the back of his head. Like so. Right, 
so then these scaly like other lines so we'll just go up this way right and then around the back of his head so this one goes up around the back of his head here and then we have one that comes up the middle so it comes up like this here and then another one that comes out from here so we go out that way and then this one continues to travel this way okay and now these are like these sort of bumps and fins and things that go across here. Right down like that. And then you have another couple of layers. So then this one goes up to like there. So roughly the line, we'll draw in the line roughly here. So it goes up and then down around the back of his head like down there and then this line will go like down here and then this line will go down that way and this one already is gone off that way right so then we got like we'll add some more of these lines like that and then another one Well, this one should, what, is there one more? I think there's one more like going in behind his ear here. So that like comes to there. And then yeah, that comes around like so. And there's like a line that goes there. And go there. And there. And then we have like another one coming around like so. These can have like sort of texture lines if you want. Sort of all coming down. Like in the actual manga, there's like loads of this, but I won't do all of it. We'll just add like a couple. Some coming down from his ear as well. Right, so, and then we'll get in, so those eyes. Oh, we can see his ear on the other side, actually. It sticks up here. Okay. So then those eyes, right, particular kind of shape, right? They're kind of, they kind of look like lightning, red sort of eyes, right? So comes out here first, comes across, changes direction a good few times, right? And you're just like angles, like this. And you put the sticks out here, down like so, back to there, back in, down, there, into there. This comes up in. And then we can see it on the other side as well. Um, let's see. Go 
down like angles, lightning just down towards his nose and then back up. Like so. Back down the center. <clears throat> Very close to his nose here. This goes up underneath his eye, back in, and up to there. And then we have like uh, lots of texture lines and stuff coming around his eye. So lots of these sort of wavy lines and hatching lines. Just following around. <clears throat> so you can do as much of this as you want now. So we're just thickening up this line a little bit just to make it stand out <clears throat> above the rest of them. Because you always want the sort of eyes of a character to stand out more. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll edit out that cough. Sometimes I don't. Okay, so they'll be like glowing red inside as well. So that'll make that definitely make them stand out. Some hatching down here too. Right, so his mouth, right? So we got like his chin curves down here. And then this another spiking sort of bumping line. One spike, another curve line. Another spike there, and then this comes back into there. And so then we can see like his teeth, kinda. So we go down, up to there, down, back up to there. And sort of more here, so it goes up. And back up, down into there. And this can be like a heavy, thick line. You know, heavy shadow. Like so. And this has like a line coming down for his chin. And each of these teeth have these kind of ridge lines on them. So then you'll have more sort of wavy lines, texture lines going across the bottom of these teeth, up the other side, and then each of these matching sort of lines going in the opposite direction. Coming down from the ridge, you wanna always like bring them down from this ridge. Just to get sort of the angle. I might actually put shadow like all under here. I think I will, because this should be like real dark. I think in here. All right, so something like this, like in all these sort of waving lines, then come along.
Right, so. Okay, what to do next? So he's got he's got like a cape coming out from here and then like his shoulder and stuff. We do his shoulder. So his shoulder line curves out here. And this is armor, right? So it goes out to there. And then it'll go like into his arm here. And then we'll bring it like in here. And bump there. And then this has a couple of these sort of levels as well, sort of like this thing here. So we go again. So we go one, two, and then this will go across here. And this goes across his shoulder again. Around here, around the back, and then up to a point. To there, across like so. Right, so like the center point of this sort of armor is like here, right? And this has spikes coming out, so we kind of have to draw them in for it to make sense. And this comes around here, and then this one goes up from there, and then around, right? And then we have another one. And across to there, and then down around. And this one. Like so. And then another one. There. There, and there. And, and then Another line here, another one going back that way, another one going to this point. So it's always like to these points, you know? And then they'll have sort of some hatching lines on them. Much of these texture lines now as you'd like, you don't have to do as much as me don't want to and this one becomes his bicep and then we'll finish where's the top of this one so like here comes up like so and then you have like all texture lines and things inside all these so So there is a lot of this, as I said, in the manga. So feel free to do way more than me if you want. Right, so then his arm comes down, straight down this way, right? So it has, again, levels of armor. These sort of pointy bits, right, like so. And down all the way. Like so on the other side. Down to there, kind of around here and out. Right, so that's his arm. So this is like a levels as well and layers right so one here next one next one next one there and then like an elbow shield or something here like a triangle like that and then ridge lines going up this way like this ridge line is like here coming right from the corner of these eventually will disappear like so and then you can add texture again
like so. Right, so then we'll join this shoulder up to his body. Right, so you can't really see. We just have sort of a wavy kind of torn cape line. So like a bit of shoulder here, but then it's like just ripped and torn sort of. going like all the way up this way and this will have like four lines and things if you want there's loads of hatching on this like all these lines go like you know off this way but I won't do all that but like some hatching that comes around his head here and goes around just here right like a, like a ridge So going up that way. And it goes in behind his sword then, right? And there's like all debris and things. I don't know what you'd call it. Is it from his cape? I'm not really sure, but it's just all like dirt in the air and stuff. Maybe it's smoke. But it just looks kind of strange. And his knee, oh yeah, his knee comes out here actually. So, let's see, let's see the other side of his arm. Before we do his knee, we'll finish his body. Just trying to keep on track here. So, it's kind of complicated. So, diagonal this way first. Then we'll bring it down and then in towards his arm. There, right? Maybe another piece of armor here, here, right? So we'll, we'll do this shoulder armor first. I think it goes in behind his shoulder anyway. It goes like in under here. It's in mostly shadow, but I'm gonna kind of make it up so like that, I think. But that's mostly black, so I can't really see, but I think it's like that anyway. That would make sense. And then we have a line here, then coming up here, and maybe like another one there, and then here. So, so we're just trying to make these lines maybe just stand out a little bit more, make them a little bit thicker. Because they're your main sort of ridge lines. You want them to stand out, you know, above, above the hatching lines. So normally, if you want to add a shadow to a line, just make it thicker. Extra line weight. Kind of like this. Give more importance to a line, give it more weight. You know. Okay, so then there's another armor plate in here. And then the center of that line there, and there's like a bolt here. And again, we'll just give it some more importance by just making it a little bit thicker. There. Is there another bolt here? There is. So I'm not sure where this goes underneath his neck, but I'm gonna pretend it's here. And then we have another line just there. And then we can add some more sort of texture lines and things.
good. Might put a shadow like under here. I think it needs it. Just a bit of a shadow in here for his jaw. And just underneath the cape. Right, so then the rest of his body, what we can see of it. So, let's say there. It's biking out this way. Let me bring that back down. Across to there. And then we'll go another layer. Like so. And then up to here, up to there. So, let me just thicken up these underneath parts. It reminds me of drawing Rodan, you know, from the MonsterVerse, from Godzilla King of Monsters. I know that's weird, but it, it's kind of that same sort of thing. Lots of armor, you know, lots of texture on the armor. Okay, so then he's a leg, right? He has two legs, but there's a leg here with armor, so it kind of bumps around coming out here, right? And then we have a ridge line that comes down this way and another one that kind of comes down this way. And then this has a couple of armor plated spaces here and some texture coming down here. So this one will be thicker. And this one can have So, and then we have more armor coming down here. So, out, down, out, down, and then straight down. And then this comes over towards his elbow, forearm, and kind of a line down the middle. So these are thicker lines again. That's what we got so far. This will probably be a long video. So, more hatching lines here. Like so, and something else in here. Looks like a shadow or something. This is just dark in here. And then we got like some more sort of armor lines, plated lines here, like so. So we'll just make this a bit thicker. Then lots of hatching. So, right, and then his leg on the other side, right? So we'll put that in now. Comes up, and we got like these ridges again. So kind of like mountains going down. Kind of like a mountain range going down this way. Another one here goes down towards his knee, and then sort of comes down. 
on to there. So we've got like a armor plate like this on his knee, okay? So this will kind of curve all the way back up to here. And then it'll go out and then down like so. And goes in, up, and then around to a point, and then around to another point there. And then this will come down like so. Uh, oh yeah, and this will curve down around to here. And then this should go this way. That I think there's the there's like nuts and bolts and things on these, right? So there. And then we sort of do that again. So this comes out, down, in. This comes out. How many? One, two, yeah. Down and in. And then down. Out. This one's kind of bigger, it comes underneath, up to there. And these have circles, like these bolts on them. Comes down underneath his leg. And then the front of his leg just comes down here. And we have more sort of armor and bits coming down here. So this one, again. So mirroring this kind of shape, right? You're, you're kind of just trying to do it in layers, kind of like, you know, those Russian dolls, so it gets smaller as it goes down. And then his leg curves off that way. And these have some nuts and bolts and ridge lines and things coming down them. So that's his knee. So then it's all bent up inside here. So, say from this, so we'll curve up here. It's the back of his, leg right so his calf comes down here right so and this is like armor plates as well right so this is like his calf muscle we got like a layer here and this like goes in this way so this is all like fabric now so it's got like lots of curved lines and stuff on it Oh, there's bolts on these as well. I never even noticed that. Is there some here? Yeah, there's some here as well. So there's, sorry, there's these little, um, I never even noticed. There's some bolts on this stuff too. Not everywhere. I think there's one here. It's like in the middle. Maybe not a, not on all of them, just on some, which is interesting. And then, so we'll just thicken up some of these lines now, because we'll, and then we'll add like lots of texture. So just go around with your pencil, or if you're at the inking stage, with your ink, and we'll just add some thickness to these lines. So again, this just adds some shadow and it makes it makes it so when someone looks at your drawing, right, there's a difference between these main structure lines and the texture lines inside. There's a difference in weight, right? So that it's just it's like an optical illusion, really. It just makes the viewer's eye, the person who's looking at the drawing, you know, just see things stand out more than others and that gives them importance. So, and shadow and weight and all this kind of stuff. So it's a very useful trick really, especially if you're doing a drawing with lots of texture lines and stuff. You know, 
you know, if you do a heavy line like here, and you do some light lines, you know, that just makes it look different. Gives it more heft. See, like that. All right, so then you can add like lots of these little texture lines then. RIP this Sharpie, I think it's going to kick the bucket any minute now. Okay. Right, I think I have to change my Sharpie. Hold on. We'll go over now and do his sword, okay? So like the hilt of his sword. So we got like this curved line here. So his sword runs up behind his ear there. Right, so we've got this. The handle sort of comes down this way. see fingers then so let's see the fingers start about there all right so so the backs of his knuckles right so we got like curved finger coming across like here and like in and down right right and then so each of these has a knuckle at the back so we'll just do that first <clears throat> what way is that that doesn't make sense but we'll Okay, we'll just like add it here. I'm talking to myself now. So knuckles here, and then at the bottom there's like a shadow, and then like the back of his hand, and then the the sword comes out here at the front. So we'll just do like the knuckles at the front here again. around right so that's your general shape for his hand and then the rest of the handle comes down this way you can use a ruler for this view if you, if you like really want to keep it super straight right so it comes down that way and we'll just this one is like a curved line a little bit Right, like so and then we have like a bump for his hand somewhere like here and a bump for the back of his hand in between these two so that's like armor yeah it comes around here and something else in here then there's like shadow or something in here Right, general shape for his hand, right? So then each of these has, each of these is a finger, so we'll just curve it down. 
like so. General shape for each one. And then we've got like a ridge of armor coming down all the way towards the middle. Like so, and then each of these, much like the rest, much like his, say, say his arm here, each of those is on his finger as well. Right, so you gotta do that the whole way. So we'll go up, down, digging through my own muscles. Looking for a clue. Sorry, I'm, I'm singing lyrics of a song now. It's funny what happens when you draw, when your brain goes. So then you just keep sort of doing that. These sort of armor. Armor lines like this sort of stuff. So like the first three arrows point this way on his finger, right? And then after that, they change direction and go back this way, okay? So one, two, three, pointing this way. And then we go back that way, see? Right, and then, so this <clears throat> then has these things strapping or something on the handle. This will probably be a long video. Well, I tell you, it's not as bad as drawing Mecha Godzilla. I have to say that. This is still easier than Mecha. I think everything's easier. If you want to, like, do my Mecha Godzilla drawing. And then everything's easy after that. <laughs> In comparison. Okay. Anyway, um, there's some more foreshortened lines coming around, right? His hand. So we've got like armor plates. So foreshortening is when looking something looks really stumpy, right? That's what happens when like you have an arm that you can't really see the back of. This comes down here. Texture, armor plates, right? And then it'll go around here. And up in behind his finger there. And then we have another section sort of there and then another circle there and another and then texture and stuff <coughs> right, so floating arm and then we'll do the rest of the sword that goes up off the page first right so blade itself so above here so there's like a triangle right again you can use a ruler for this if you want it triangle like that and then the top of that sword will go off my page this way boom that way a few more room of course feel free to add more of that giant sword this goes this way, the other side, right? 
and then it has the round sort of section that comes around here. So come kind of like, kind of a curved line here because it is round on the side. So there, and then this goes diagonal into there. It kind of keeps going down into the side here. And then it comes out underneath here, diagonal, and then it goes up this way. What is that, a piece of chain? Yeah, there's like a piece of chain, but, um, right, there's like another line comes across here. Another one comes across here and up. And this comes up as well. And you like lines there and then you join. Well, now there's another line here first. And then these are edge lines, corner lines. Join those together. I forgot like texture on his fingers. So he's got a round part that comes out from the blade up here. So it like comes out and then it goes down and around to there, I think. No, it goes further, it goes this way. section here with what looks like a piece of chain that's what it looks like to me anyway I think it is chain just sticking off here something like that And then there's like another line inside that goes back down to there. And this has like a shadow or something. Like that. And then the other side of the sword goes. sword goes this way that way I'm just trying to level that up I don't like this thick line here I think I may change this Okay, a bit better. Some texture on this. Like maybe like some cracks and things, you know, on this um, big sword. Just a bit of texture like that. Okay, and then. We're nearly there, so his arm in behind here goes up in behind his head helmet with all armor plating, right? 
So again, levels and layers. Like that. And that comes down to there. Right, and I think there's like a bit of shadow here. Other side comes out from like here, I think. So this is all in shadow, so I can't see much in here. But that cape, the cape flies up this way. It comes out from behind the sword. There, so more sort of texture lines and things. Going that way, more debris in the air like that and then we'll finish this arm and there's like an armor plate as well here so there's like another chest actually piece of armor just here like that and another one So his arm, then that's his armpit, and his arm goes in behind. So this sort of bumping sort of line here, and a piece of armor there, and then another sort of one here. So texture lines on this and you know texture on these as well. And we'll give it another another sort of layer or two going that way. And then we'll just add some weight to these. There should be another one in here, but we're heavy shadow in here, so texture. And then lots of debris. Okay, so I think roughly that'll have to do. Um, you just sort of add finishing touches to things now, or whatever you feel, you know, thickening up some lines, smoothening up some stuff where you think needs it. That'll have to do me anyway. Gotta go get my dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> okay. Hope it was helpful. Guts in his berserk armor. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.